You're in my way! Every time we come here, it brings back memories. Same for you, right? Yep. It's been we've been for a lot together, you and me. All right. Do you remember that one time? You know that one time. We had that big fat fight. That's the one. It's easily the biggest bust up we've ever had. All these years, I've known nothing else has come close. It was bad. I'm just glad that we made it up, we made up afterwards. You know, for such a big argument, I don't even remember what it was about. We were really young, so it's probably just some silly kid thing. You're probably right. Hey Shulk, do you ever think about it? Without me bringing it up, I mean? Of course. I think about it sometimes. If we'd never made up f <laughs> from that argument, I don't think we would be friends now. We've said some pretty harsh things to each other, but it was worth it, right? Because now we're good mates. Yeah, definitely worth it. You know, it's funny how sometimes we're so much alike. I figured you'd say something. I figured you were still angry. Nah, not anymore. But you did get my, on my nerves back then. You were too clever, man. You got on my skin. And I thought you were just some big brute. But I guess... But I guess that's where we, we were arguing about. Yeah, that sounds about right. You know, I don't say this enough, but thanks, Ryan. I couldn't ask for a better friend. No problem, Shulk. And remember, you don't have to hold back. Let's go with our chins up. Hello, my lovely chads of the internet. It is I, Multi126789, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Uh, last time, while well, we were traveling or uh, traversing through Swords Valley, uh, today we are going to be going ahead and doing a little bit more quest roundup as we then go ahead and go back to Sword Valley to continue on. Um, so off screen, I did quite a few things. Uh, for one, actually, since I'm thinking about it, collectopedia wise, I have finished uh, all of Machina 4. So we're gonna add everything to here, and we're gonna claim our rewards. Got sleep resist three. Okay, that's decent. All right. Got sky gloves. Kind of mid because not that good. Because we're already very far in the game. Blaze defense. Alright. More sky shoes. Eh. Slow three. That's actually pretty good. Uh, I already got one on Ricky because he's the type of person that I have the debuff stuff on, just because he has a lot of debuff stuff. So, oh, speaking of which, debuff buff too. Iron. Oh, okay, the thing I already had. If I completed this earlier, I would have got it earlier. Um, so far in our collectopedia journey for the mountains, we're only missing one thing, and I'm pretty sure it's a trade item, along with uh the thing of uh. Wow, Frontier Village? I literally, I was literally blanking on the name, and I was like, yo, you can say it. <laughs> Other than that, you know, typical mis miscellaneous stuff, I off-screen, I grinded f for a few different new gems to set up my team with. Uh, did a few quests, 
Uh, we will be heading to Colony 6 after we get this item drop that I need, because we actually, f I found the thing that I needed to upgrade, uh, the next thing on our, uh, special, so we can actually increase it to level 3 for all of them, and then we're probably gonna have to defeat some mech on, and then we can continue with the story. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut around, and once we get back, uh, we should be heading off to Colony, uh, 6 after we I get the one item drop I need. Yo, Juju! Hey, what a do, Juju! Also, I just wanted to quickly show you, uh, yeah, our our tree has been getting pretty big. Uh, I haven't been back to the High Entia place in a while to uh, talk to all the residents so I can get more. Uh, probably we'll do that off screen in between uh, this uh, episode and the next one. But as you can see, for Colony 9, like, we filled out. We're basically at level 4, once, uh, one star away from getting level 5. Uh, the tree and the upper Bionis is almost there, and Colony 6 just has to get more people recruited and our stuff upgraded. So, with that being said, let us upgrade. Hey, look, we got a park now. Special level increased by one. Park has now been built. Congratulations, here's your level 3 bonus. Yay, more topple plus 4, thank you. I really do appreciate getting topple plus stuff. Oh, let's see, can we upgrade anything else while I'm here? No. <laughs> no, because it seems like a lot of this stuff is for way later. Alright. Okay then, I guess we're just gonna go ahead and move on with the game then. Because I was just like, eh. After we finished that, I didn't have much else that I wanted to do, so. Let us go ahead and move on. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to Shulk because I'm gonna need him. Uh, Melia can get in the par- uh, Yeah, Ricky can be our tank for now. Uh, yeah, he's fine enough, our tank for now. Um, okay, so uh, we need to continue going back to where that location was where we last ended off. Um... So let's go in. Don't know why I can't jump up that, but okay. That dude exploded. We got through that pretty good. Let us remain vigilant. Not bad, not bad. Huh. 
You know, I'm not actually sure if I beat the boss that was in here. It seems like I did. I'm not interested in fighting, guys. Sorry. Alright, you're really gonna get on my nerves if you continue to follow me. Go away. Uh, I want to make sure I'm going the right way. Uh, we need to go down over here. Also, me, I hope, don't leave any of this traveling back to where we need to go in, because it's not that interesting. <laughs> I know, I know I have to keep saying it because, you know, that's the case, but, like, I just want to make sure that you're actually doing it. back at where we are were supposed to be but we didn't get a landmark watch me walk a little bit closer and then I get a landmark and I'm gonna scream well we didn't technically get one yet so I guess I won't scream but you know it's the principle of the thing I've been waiting for you Munka. how predictable I knew you were going to come how could you how could you do this to your own kind? That ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just having the time of my life here. Ain't that the point? I even get to take out that annoying Monado brat. Oi, Beardy! You're talking pretty tough there. Don't be so sure you can take us all on by yourself. Come on! <laughs> I ain't that stupid. What's that sound? Ah! You scumbag! <laughs> well then, Manado boy! Think you can do it? Can you kill them all? <sighs> I wonder who's inside. Who could it be? Your dad? Your mom? Maybe that special someone! <sighs> Aha! Looks like we have our first contestant! Too bad she won't give me much of a fight. It's just like with Zanza. Chala, look out! Too bad she won't give me much of a fight. Shulk? Everyone, watch out for the green claws and the other one's spears. There's something different about them. You catch on quick, boy. You're right. These weapons are special. They were made especially to decompose you, Homs. And no, wait, any being from Bionis. How can that be? I don't know about all this technical stuff, but it's something to do with that ether. Ether is like the Bionis blood. The fortress sucks its blood out for us. Then we use it to make this green liquid. You monsters! <laughs> Pretty clever, don't you think? This world suits me just fine, Dunban! Mumka, you're gonna pay! 
I'm tired of your yapping, Mr. Hero! I'm gonna squish you like a slug! Right here, where we shared such lovely memories! Well, it's time for us to engage in this battle. Ooh, he's a higher level than I thought. Uh, this might not be a good team for this, but, you know, we're gonna make it work. Let's focus on one at a time. But yeah, they basically are taking the... You know when what happened when we were at the Ether River? And how... Uh, uh, gosh. Gosh, it's been a it's been a it's been a hot minute. Uh, a Thoron almost fell into the Ether Ritherer and died. That's basically because oh yeah, uh, ether, a high concentration for, of ether for a um, for somebody of Homs would be very um, dangerous. Also, I don't quite know what's going on over here, but. Over, guys. Please focus on this guy. Ow! Can't please. All right. Someone's one of these. All right. For a fire. Nah, I'm good. Thanks, so. Oh yeah, he resists. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. We can definitely do this. Time to get the defense down. Mungar is really uh, being stubborn here. Okay, we'll finish him in this next chain attack. All right, let's get him. Defense down, please. Give him that bleed effect. Hit him with an elemental. Here it comes. The Buster. to Fiora and the Emperor. So of course I want to get my revenge. Shulk. <laughs> but... Face Mekon are not like the others. They're people. Like us. Are you really willing to kill another Homs? Yes. Sometimes needs must. <sighs> Even if it's Fiora. What then? When we set out, I wanted to destroy all Mekon. That was my aim. But now, I know that there are people inside. I have to know why. What's the reason for all of this? 
Why do Bionis and Mechonis have to keep on fighting? I have to find out why! So, that is your fight. Forgive what he's done. And yet, your words, they ring true. I feel their weight. We have to help Fiora now. We'll worry about the rest later. Right. Did you hear that, Munkar? We haven't got time to be playing around with you. You always had to have the last word! Just die! No! Just Don't move! Die. Too far, you fool. They are of surprisingly little use, those visions. Because he could not save his majesty. That was within the margin of fate. It was not Shulk's fault. Hmm. So you side with the boy? Did you find anything out? I did. It is most fascinating, this spear. The green fluid alters and destroys the structure of the ether, which is the building block of life on Bionis. It appears to have been created from ether energy drawn from the blood of the Bionis. Could that explain the ether flowing through Sword Valley? I do not think it is the only reason, but it is too early to draw conclusions. Is there a countermeasure? Creating antibodies is a simple matter. We will be ready. That is good news. Why did you have to include him? You know how he disgusts me. We must respect our elders. Dixon has known him far longer than us. At least he's out of the way. Now we just need to get inside. They're in there. Fiora and the Golden Mechon. Fiora! Shulk! What's up? Did you see something? No. You did see something. All right. It was the Silver Mechon. 
Fiora. She's definitely inside the fortress. All right. At least we know what to expect. So, Fiora is inside. I can't let that vision come true. I have to save her. <laughs>